I work with clients from all over the world in helping them make partner and I often hear from my Australian and New Zealand clients something called tall poppy syndrome and tall poppy syndrome is where if you start to put your head above the parapet you want to make something of yourself people will cut you down and so you know this was in we were talking about in relation oh well I worry if I if I go on to LinkedIn and start posting up and building my expertise people will think who does she think she is you know she just wants to go to partner she's looking for a new job and you know, and this is something called an example of tall poppy syndrome. The reality is, it's it's our friend the amygdala at work. Is that when we start to develop our career and move forward, we move out of our comfort zone. And as soon as we move out of what is safe and familiar, the amygdala in our brain starts going on red alert, and it can flood your brain with fear which is often the tall poppy syndrome. Oh, you know, I'm going to get people being negative to me. They're going to cut me down. They're not going to, they're, you know, they're going to think I'm getting ideas above my station. You know, and, and when you talk these things out rationally, you, you realise that they're irrational. They're just fears in your head. Uh, and so actually, if, if you have this issue, I actually want you to, this may sound strange, but embrace that fear. What do I mean about embrace that fear? Well, that fear is basically saying that you're going out of your comfort zone, that this is going to be difficult. Uh, actually, it might not be difficult. Actually, it might just be you're going out of your comfort zone. Once again, that's the amygdala going, this is going to be difficult, this is going to be hard. You're going out of your comfort zone. And that means you're moving your career forward. And so when you start getting that flood of fear, of course, write them down and rationally go through them and see how many of them are real fear. But what I want you to do is when you when you sense that, is embrace that and go towards that fear because that means you're moving forward. Never mind about tall poppy syndrome. Forget about what other people think. It's you that matter. It's your goals that matter. Go forward towards them and start having that dialogue back. Answer back the voice of fear in your head.